Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bess and Intuitive Tarot, and in today's reading I'm taking a look at Pisces Love Life, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new to this channel, please hit like and subscribe, I appreciate each and every one of you, and if you feel like you resonate with the reading and you want me to dive even deeper than I already will, because I'm pretty thorough in these readings, I will also provide the link to the extended, pinned at the top of the comments and also down in the description box below, where you'll also find a link to my website if you want to book a personal reading with me. All right, you guys, on Monday night, I did a live, whoa, I did a live stream. The Knight of Cups flew out, and there is the lovers on the bottom. A, a potential expression of love with a soulmate energy, all right, or a reconciliation with someone, and finally, a expression of love. But I'm just going to shuffle that back in because I wasn't ready yet. Um, Monday night, I did a live stream announcing a contest that I'm hosting and it's still open until Sunday night if you didn't enter into that contest. I'm giving away five separate tarot decks, one of them being my favorite cat deck. All right, and then I'll announce the winners live on Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you haven't seen it, go to my playlist and look for the video titled Let's Chat, Baz and Hangout. That's the one that I announced the contest. You don't have to watch the video. Just click on that video and in the description box, you'll see the uh, rules to enter and things like that. And if you do want to listen to you know me explaining it, the first 15 minutes I talk about it and then the rest you don't need to watch. It's just me answering uh, viewer questions, all right? I don't want you to waste your time. All right, what do we have for Pisces? Oh, and I introduced myself, like all of me, for that video, so it made me feel really connected to you guys. All right, what do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck. Pisces, please. What's going on? All right. I see that you guys are in a situation where things are a bit complicated, um, but the outcome looks great. A lot of fire here, a lot of fire, a lot of water and some air, no earth. The mutual energy between you guys is the Six of Swords. This could tell me that you guys are either separated only because of distance you want to see this person, they want to see you, but there's a distance that's keeping you guys from being together and it's causing a lot of stress, a lot of burden, all right? And this could also tell me that someone is trying to mentally detach because they need to move on to common waters because what's going on right now is very stressful to them. But the outcome looks good, so I feel like you guys end up figuring out some sort of resolution, and I will know more about what that is when I clarify using a separate deck. I will get to that in a few minutes. But there's balance and harmony that someone is trying to achieve with the Six of Swords, because the Six of Swords represents balance and harmony. Someone is feeling really stressful, feeling like this is nothing but a bunch of false starts and false hope, so they're wanting to move forward. I feel like you both want to move forward, but you both keep on looking back at each other. And you see how that moon is there? I feel like this is very intuitive energy that you guys are picking up on. The moon is you, and also Cancer. All right? So it's like your intuition is guiding you both to look back at each other but at the same time, your feet are walking you forward because it's the stress of this connection not getting off the ground that is really doing a lot of damage to you guys. You both are feeling it. You're feeling the separation. Now, if you guys aren't separated because of distance, uh, there's got to be a, a plethora of other things going on here. You guys almost have like a similar energy here. But for the fact that I had the Six of Swords and the Chariot on their side, definitely speaks of distance. Okay, or you guys just need to travel towards each other, even if it's local. All right, so Pisces, your current feelings for this person is the Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands. A lot of fire, a lot of fire. And it could, there could also be an age difference here, but if not, no worries. Someone just could be more young at heart than the other. Um, you're feeling really, really, really stressed out. It looks like you've been through the ringer and you live to tell the, 
tail. All right? The nine of wands is that energy of, holy cannoli, what is this? But I'm not giving up. I can't give up is the nine of wands. There's something about this connection I just can't put my, my place on, but I gotta, I gotta find out. But I'm getting so worn out. Is this connection ever getting off the ground? Are we ever going to be a family? Are we ever going to be a relationship? Because I see that you guys haven't established a relationship yet. But the outcome shows that it does. But right now, you guys are not a relationship. Whoever I'm picking up on is not a relationship. Not, at least not currently. All right. There is a lot of communication happening between you guys. But it's a lot of... Um, flirty banter. It's not anything that is substantial. It's not anything that will set concrete, you know, vibes that this is going to be it. All right. It's a lot of, Hey, what you doing? Or, Hey, can you send me a picture of your face? Or it's a lot of flirty, exciting banter within the page of wands. Okay. But you're, you're, you're wanting more from this. You don't want just a, a text here and there saying, Hey, Hope you have a good day. You want to be with this person, Pisces. Okay? This person wants to be with you too, but there's a lot of burdens, a lot of stress, a lot of obstacles in you guys' way. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo Sagittarius Aries. I've got a lot of fire here. All right? It, it almost feels like this person feels like they go up eight steps just to go back 12. You see this person, it looks like this person is going uphill in roller skates the way that he looks burdened and stressed. Like every every energy he puts into the connection, it's wasted. It's like it's not getting anywhere. All right. But he's sitting in the driver's seat or she. Un, unsure of when to put the foot on the pedal. These flags say this way or that way. So this person sitting inside that chariot wanting to go and take action but unsure of the direction. Okay? The only reason why I'm saying that this is a connection that wants to happen and not a connection that two people just are n not having any part of is because the outcome is telling me that. The outcome is the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. This is a lot of communication, a lot of travel, a lot of harmony. Because the Eight of Wands, even though it can come up as passionate communication, it could also come up as a traveling energy. And since I'm seeing the chariot and the six of swords, I'm getting a lot of travel energy. So there's definitely some sort of distance between you guys or some sort of obstacle, you know, putting in a roadblock, even if you guys live local. Okay. The potential outcome is a relationship with the Ten of Cups, your energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Having it all. So let's clarify. I hope you guys are all doing good. All right. Why is the Six of Swords the mutual energy between Pisces and their person? Why is the Six of Swords the mutual energy between Pisces and their person, please? Why is the mutual energy between Pisces and their person the Six of Swords? Eight of Wands came out with the Page of Pentacles. Some sort of offer was given, but it looks like someone needs to take action in order to deliver it fully or to accept it. But there is someone waiting with that Seven of Pentacles, waiting on some sort of growth, some sort of result to come out of this. You guys may be reconnecting with the Three of Cups, okay? And I also see the Three of Cups as a potential third party situation interfering it doesn't have to be a love interest a third party situation interfering is a situation that is preventing you guys to, to be together this could be distance keeping you guys to get uh, away from each other this could be a cultural difference this could be an age gap this could be you know someone still holding on to their past and not wanting to open up to new love it could be a plethora of things it doesn't always have to be a romantic person because I don't see the Three of Cups as a third party situation. The Three of Swords could indicate that with the surrounding energy matching it. But the Three of Cups is getting together to celebrate. It's getting together with someone you enjoy being around. It's friends being together. Okay? Because you guys, first and foremost, I feel like are friends. 
You guys talk. You guys have fun talking to each other, but you both want to be together in a relationship, okay? So I feel like the person I'm picking up on, you guys do still talk. I don't see like there's an energy of you guys like not talking at all, okay? So if you haven't heard from this person in weeks or months, I don't feel like this is your energy, okay? Someone is definitely holding back right now and protecting their stability with the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. So why does Pisces feel the Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands energy? And remember, this could be vice versa. This could be how you're feeling and this could be your person. But I'm reading this side as you. Why does Pisces feel the Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands towards this person? The High Priestess came out. Your intuition is talking to you saying some sort of cycle needs to close in order to have this wish fulfillment. Some sort of cycle needs to close in order for you guys to have this. All right, you're very intuitive Pisces. You're getting downloads about this connection. You might be keeping them to yourself and being low key about how you're feeling, but you are feeling wish fulfillment towards them. You think about them a lot, okay? Someone needs to possibly walk away from something with the Eight of Cups. All right, Cancer energy. So why does Pisces person feel the Chariot and the Ten of Wands? Pisces energy again and Leo, Sag, and Aries. Why is the Chariot and the Ten of Wands how Pisces person is feeling towards Pisces and this situation? Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. This person's confused on whether this will be reciprocated with the Six of Pentacles. This person wants reciprocation, but they're they're confused. All right, they're feeling really lost with the Nine of Swords. This is them up late at night, overthinking things, getting caught in their head, nightmares. This is supposed to be a sleeping kitty. And these images are what's floating around in their dreams, frightening them. For whatever reason, someone is feeling confused and frightened that this connection will never get off the ground. And just as I said that, the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups and the Three of Wands, there is definitely distance between you guys here. Three of Wands is my long distance relationship card. And if it's not distance between you guys, someone feels like they're waiting on this connection to take place and they're, they're feeling like they're waiting in vain. So, which leads me to the outcome. Why is the outcome the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Wands? What proceeds before the outcome? What changes are made that leads them to the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Wands? A return. Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone returns and makes this a commitment with the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Someone's going to be traveling to see another person. They're going to return all right, and then offer some sort of commitment with that Ten of Cups and the Hierophant, okay? Because I do see you guys getting together after some time waiting. But you both are definitely growing tired right now. You both are like in that energy of possibly trying to release this attachment you have on each other because you both are attached. There's a lot of holding on to this connection, trying to see if it'll work but feeling like the odds are against them or against you, you both are feeling like that, I feel like. You're getting these, these intuitive downloads about this person, but you're also fearing that it's going to end. And this person is also getting these downloads that you are something special to them, but the circumstances surrounding the connection is really confusing them to where they don't know what to do. I'm definitely getting an energy of a circumstance keeping you guys apart, whether it's someone still being in a situation with another person, whether there's distance that's keeping you guys to, from being together, or someone is traveling in the military, or um, someone's got a fear of abandonment, there's an age gap that is, you know, triggering somebody, or a difference in culture. But then we have the, the King of Wands and the Knight of Cups, someone taking action and expressing themselves. Could be a Leo or a water sign. And with that is an offer with the Knight of Pentacles that is being delivered on this chariot. This person sitting on the chariot waiting for the right time to put their foot on the pedal and it looks like 
they're doing it and there's an offer attached. A slow moving offer, but I feel like it's been taking its time for reasons. Maybe divine timing was at play, but once someone goes over this bur this obstacle, which is the this creek, I feel like someone was patiently trying to go over this creek in in hopes of not dropping the pentacle into the creek. So they were being very slow moving and careful. But once they finally finally went over the creek, that's when all bets are off, and they put you know more oomph in their their car. Okay, once you you know, you get around the the scary part, that's when someone's gonna really put the foot on the pedal. It's gonna be like zero to one eighty. Can cars go up to one eighty? Disregard. <laughs> I'm just saying that leading up to this offer being delivered, someone was definitely being very careful. You know, you know, driving around mines, trying not to hit any booby traps. You know, looking out for you know. A cliff looking out for you know roadblocks looking out for you know a you know construction site and just when they made it clear through all of that stuff that they were trying to protect this pentacle from that's when they were like all right time to do it put their foot on the gas and went for it that's the chariot that's ha that's the image I got with the knight of pentacles in the chariot it's the only thing I could have come up with someone was taking you know precious time slowly driving to you with this pentacle and then just when they get close to the finish line that's when they use up all of their gas kind of like when you run a 5k when you run when, when you run a 5k you're very slow and steady just so that you can make it to the the last haul and then once you see that finish line that's when you use all of that energy that you preserved and you go boom right through the finish line that's this energy, slow and steady with the Knight of Pentacles, and then you see that finish line, and shit, let's go. The chariot, okay? Wow. <laughs> okay, let's get some Romance Angels. In the extended, I'll dig deeper into your person's feelings, intentions, and actions, but right now, this is Romance Angels for how you are seeing things. Please hit a like and subscribe. I love you so much, Pisces. I said a lot of nice things about you in uh, the live chat. Just know that I, I got your back. <laughs> what do we have for Pisces? What's their situation? Well, two more, please. Wow, did you see the way that that flipped out? I did. We have soulmate on the bottom. Yes, this is your soulmate. We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. You both are really like digging deep into the situation right now because of all the false starts to where you guys are like trying to find what could be going wrong and maybe like focusing on this, focusing on that because of the lack of movement, okay? But we do have a reconciliation. Someone, someone from your past is returning. And this is what we have right here with the Six of Cups and the outcome. Someone from your past is returning and traveling to talk to you with that Eight of Wands. Now remember, this could be vice versa. You could be the one traveling to them, okay? And the final card is codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah. Someone is preventing this connection from moving forward due to some sort of um, burden they need to let go of, I feel like. All right? So this could be that third circumstance. Someone may have an addiction to alcohol uh, and they don't want, you know, they, they don't love themselves enough to love you or there's drugs involved or there's a codependent ex that won't let them go or a mother-in-law that is really, you know, clinging on to her son or something like that so she doesn't feel abandoned or oh it could go on and on all right so regardless i do see someone returning with some sort of offer okay and it's substantial because it leads to the ten of cups so if you resonate with this reading there's going to be communication coming in you both are fighting for this but you both are like almost at the at the edge where you're like i'm throwing in the towel all right and just when you throw in that towel, you get ready to release that towel out of your hand. That's poof, someone, someone reaches out. All right, with some sort of game plan. So I hope this helped. All right, I'll get more nosier in the extended. But if this is where I leave you, no big deal. Please hit like and subscribe and share. I love you.